Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we are in Palm Coast, Florida, which is on the Atlantic side, the east side of Florida, somewhere between Daytona Beach and St. Augustine area. And what we're doing is installing a yard drain because of the hurricane and also just natural heavy rains, this backyard floods really bad. So again, really straightforward job, something the homeowner could do themselves. This is pretty long and extensive, but still something that you could do yourself. Let's take a look. So let's start out front where we're gonna discharge this pipe. And you can see what we're doing is we're running inch and a half PVC from the sump pump. It's gonna come all the way out and this is called the swell out front. A lot of areas in Florida, as well as you know, through the Carolinas, in, almost anywhere, you will find rather than come out to a curb, they create a swell for drainage. And this is just where water naturally flows through. You can see the culvert pipe as it comes under the driveway. So we're gonna pump that water out here to the swell. This is inch and a half pipe, this is the discharge. This will be about six or eight inches deep. It doesn't have to be deep because it's under pressure. And you can see how long this line actually is. So you need a good pump in order to send this water out that far. Back here along the house, you can see we're gonna use the easy flow. This is perforated pipe surrounded by styrofoam peanuts. It works great, same thing as a gravel perforated pipe, um, although this is all contained because we are in a sandy soil and it works extremely well to pick up groundwater. We'll also add a catch basin here. In the same trench as our discharge, we're gonna still have our PVC. From this low spot, that line comes around and ties into a sump basin, which is right here, which will be set right there because we've got power already here, saving that homeowner a lot of money because he's already got an outlet. And then back through here, we've already started cutting off sod. And so, Back here in the back, we've got a low spot. We're gonna run all of this uh, perforated pipe. Remember, this is called Easy Flow, Easy Drain. And you can see it right here. It's NDS, is the manufacturer, <clears throat> Easy Drain. And this is four inch pipe. What it is, is perforated pipe surrounded by the styrofoam peanuts. This works exactly the same way as gravel. And you can see the voids between each piece of styrofoam. If there was gravel, there would be voids between the gravel. As water floods up into your system, because we're picking up groundwater, as groundwater floods up, it goes through those voids, enters the perforated pipe, which is inside here, and then it's carried away. Real simple, been done for years. Romans did it. I mean, it's not a new idea. I'm gonna drain it over there to the sump basin. That sump pump lifts it up, and you can see the inch and a half pipe Remember that goes all the way this out. This is the very feet. back of his yard. He's got a little gazebo here, and this area is really low. The day that I came out for the estimate, this was pretty much all underwater back here. And <clears throat> so we're gonna start the line right over here. We'll start it with a catch basin. Remember how systems work. Catch basins, they allow immediate surface water runoff. So as it rains, water comes across the ground and drops into that catch basin. As groundwater floods up, and you know, the, the water table rises, it goes into the styrofoam peanuts or the French drain and it's carried away. We'll probably put a couple of catch basins back here and as well as over here on the other side of the house where it's also low between his house and the neighbor's house. So over there where that piece of uh, easy flow is, we'll have another catch basin over here as well. Okay, so we've already got the bulk of the excavation done and now we're laying some pipe. Let's take a look. So beginning here in the back, the courtyard, this is the lowest point of the yard. And this yard is way lower than this yard. And I don't know if you can see it, but we're probably about two feet low. They've really raised this grade dramatically when they built that house. So all that water from that roof and everything back there drains right over here to this low spot. So we started with a catch basin and then we've got the French drain, which remember is gravel perforated pipe or in this case, we're using styrofoam peanut pipe, and that is four inch perforated pipe surrounded by styrofoam peanuts that has voids in it, allows that water to perk right through it, enter the perforation of the pipe and get carried away. So we've got everything installed to this point. You can just kind of see how the line shapes up. We're adding another catch basin right here. And you can see I had to cut the pipe so we've got a little bit of peanuts that spilled out, no big deal. Push it down the trench. 
coming along. I wanted to show you, it's been, oh, a good couple of weeks since it rained. And we're down about 18 inches and you can see there's groundwater here. This is typical in the state of Florida, especially when our elevation to this area is only about 26 feet above sea level. So when it rains, that water table rises up. It will go through that perforation of the pipe, like I said, and be carried away. It, the French drain does not catch water as it drops down in. That's impossible. It's underground and for that water to find the holes on the top, won't work. It has to go all the way to the bottom of the trench and then it rises up and gets carried away. Okay, so we're ready to set up the Zoller M98. This is a half horsepower pump and it comes with a three year warranty. This thing is really powerful and I suggest you use this on any outdoor uh, drainage that you do with a sump basin outside. This is the best pump to use. So we start by threading in the male inch and a half adapter. It goes right into the port. Next, I've already cut all these pieces. We're going to put a small riser. It's going to get kind of clear that bar. We're going to go ahead and glue that up. I'm trying out a new glue. <laughs> it's called Christie's Hot Red Glue, even though it's blue. And um, had some good reviews about it. Push and hold. That holds it nice and tight in place. Next, we're going to put the check valve on. Remember, check valves only allow water to flow one direction, and the arrows help you decide, you know, help you know that the water flow is this way. We put that on. These are no hub adapters with stainless steel clamps. Kind of a tight fit, but it'll go. We, we like things nice and tight, basically. <laughs> now we're going to tighten that up with a 5 16 inch nut driver using your handy dandy black and decker <laughs> or whatever you're using is fine too make sure your clamps on the rubber no hub and then just as tight as your drill can make it i've already tightened these two clamps so we're all set there next we're going to use a small riser because this is actually coming clear up pull it up it's actually coming clear up close to the lid now we're running out of space down in the sump pit. So just a small little riser. That's going to go down inside the no hub. And then we're going to have a 90 degree turn on that, which is going to accept, which will accept our discharge line as it comes out. So let's go ahead and uh, set this in and double check, make sure everything's plumb and where we want it. And then we'll go ahead and glue it all up. Okay, so we have a great plumb, a great fit. Remember, we've got a Zoller M98. We're also going to drill a 3 16 inch hole right here to, for the pressure release. We're going to do that next. And you need to do that because it's such a powerful pump that when water rushes into the pit, that it kicks on. And there could be an airlock between the check valve and the pump itself, which prevents the water you know, from going up and opening this valve. So you need a little bit of relief down there. The M53 has that built into it, and although they do recommend that you do that as well. So we've got it coming out. We've got our inch and a half coming out. It's going to go to a 45, turn 45, and go all the way out. Okay, so we have it all plumbed <clears throat> from the sump basin. We've got a Zoller M98, lifts it up through the inch and a half, comes down. Notice we're in the same trench as our excavation, which is draining this direction to the sump basin. Utilize, you know, try to make things easy for yourself. Catch basin, line, and of course it runs all the way out to the street. Okay, so out here at the end of the discharge line, instead of putting a pop-up on here, we've used a, a three inch grate to accept, you know, the inch and a half discharge from the pump. When this pump kicks on, that water is going to come up, oh, about this high. So <laughs> you have to have something solid to let that water come out of there. This works really good. It'll just drain off into the little drainage ditch run down and then go into the driveway under the culvert of the driveway. So here's our system. We've got the sod put back on. Again, sod settles, don't worry about leaving it a little bit high. But here's our first catch basin right here. And this is the, the lowest point of the yard actually right here. So water, surface water flows across, drops into the catch basin. Underneath of the 
the trench, in the trench, remember that's the, the French drain, the gravel perforated pipe, or in this case, easy flow drain pipe, which is four inch perforated pipe surrounded by styrofoam peanuts encased in fabric. It works great. Groundwater rises up, enters through the voids of the, the peanut pipe and into the perforation of the pipe and is carried away. So we've got another catch basin over here, right here. So we've got another and catch basin over here. And again, groundwater, as it rains, surface water will flood down into the catch basin and be carried away. This is all French drain underneath of here, the gravel perforated pipe or easy flow, you know, either one. Um, then we switch the solid from here over to the sump pit because it's just bringing the water over. Inside the pit, we've got a Zoller M98 half horsepower pump, and then we've got our discharge line, which runs all the way out to the street. As water is collected in the backyard throughout the system, it drains over to the sump basin. Some people call this a lift station, and that's exactly what it is. We're lifting the water up. Water comes to this point. It cannot drain from here to the street because it's way too low. So we put a pump in here to lift the water up and send it all the so way here out. here on the side of the house, we've got that catch basin. So you can see where we are. We're on the side of the house and this is low spot because compared to this yard next door, that water's all been draining over here. They need the same thing. Um, we've put in a catch basin that picks up immediate surface water runoff as it comes across the ground. This is a low point of the yard on this side. And then we've got the styrofoam peanut, which is like a French drain underneath of this. That all drains back, right back here to the sump basin. And again, the pump lifts it up, a lift station, lifts that water up and it sends it all the way out to the street. And you can see we've already trenched the line, put the sod back, it's all going to settle. We don't worry too much about that. Only about six or eight inches deep. Not a major excavation by any means. Comes all the way out to the discharge, which in this case is a four inch grate. And that water will come up and just drain off, you know, out to the Hey, side. this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.